muscle. The less water you have in your system and the less fat you have on your body, you show more muscular definition. And there's another part to it too. It's called vascularity, where the blood vessel network in parts of the body stands out as well. The goal for most bodybuilders is like you see, like in the gyms, the anatomy chart, wanting to achieve that paper thin look so you can see every individual striation of muscle. Basically, striations are when you flex, you see all the muscle fibers. I would say the last 24, 48 hours up until the show isn't the most healthy part of it, but it's a very short period of time. You go to extremes in preparing for competition, like water depletion and uh, extreme low carbohydrate diets and getting very dehydrated. You're going to feel bad. A lot of guys will go 18 to 20 hours with no water whatsoever. What usually ends up happening is they're just drinking so much water, and then when they stop it, they just stop it. If you think you're in the worst shape of your life on stage, what's everybody else going to think? You have to feel good. You have to feel good about yourself, and you have to feel energy. The physical sacrifices that athletes choose to endure can eventually cause permanent damage to their internal organs. Why take the risk? But some bodybuilders take it too far. Because everyone wants to win. Everybody's looking for that little edge. And it's very difficult because if you're slightly off on the day of the competition, you're talking about a whole year's training down the toilet. It can make a difference from fourth place to first place. They would resort to anything, not bodybuilders, everybody, to get to be the best they could be. Anything to be the best? <laughs> to win? The use of steroids in all sports is the dirty little secret that is not so secret anymore. What we do for a living is show off our muscle. And it's uh, obvious what we're doing to get that way. <coughs> muscle Mania World Championships, only the best are here. <laughs> Natural bodybuilding enthusiasts have gathered in Anaheim, California for the 10th annual Muscle Mania Natural Bodybuilding Championships. It is the largest drug-tested competition in the world. The pro division is very tough. Everyone in here is top quality. It's a huge competition. There's over 200 competitors. It's the most I've ever been in. You know, the sport is definitely growing as far as natural bodybuilding. It's growing big time. Natural bodybuilding is actually, I don't want to say harder because I'll get a lot of pro bodybuilders upset with me, but it's, it's not easy. I really respect these guys that go out there and do it naturally because they've really got to pay attention to their diet and their supplements. Here with the Muscle Mania, we have an unbelievable caliber of contestants. I'm just here to have fun. My goal is to be an inspirational bodybuilder. So others, you'll need drugs to be a great bodybuilder. It's just motivating people. The steroid use and bodybuilding, uh, they, I mean, they're always going to go hand in hand. Basically, the breakdown is there's the non-tested shows and there's the tested shows. Non-tested shows, they supposedly do random testing on uh, comp competitors. The IFBB does random steroid testing throughout the year. So at any point in time, you know, an athlete's name can be drawn and, and you've got to report, you've got literally a day to report to a doctor and take a drug test. Hey, yeah, just give them your name and wait line. All right, got a cut wait for me. A name on it. Yeah. Cool. And in the drug tested shows, they don't have random. It's the top five guys get tested automatically. So if you fail, you're out. No questions asked. Horse number 149, is he in there right now? That's me. Is that you? I'm going next. Okay. So where goes? And 151's yeah. in there. Okay. For the Muscle Mania, I am in charge of drug testing. What happens is every competitor that goes on stage for the finals, they're asked to urinate in a cup, and the cup is labeled. We have nurse practitioners on hand to make sure that everything, the person that goes in is the person coming out. They seal them, and they get sent off to a laboratory in San Diego. I think it's great. Yeah. I think yeah, it's good. It's fair. It keeps everybody honest. Yeah. Yeah. But there's some clever people who know how to beat these things. But it's better than not doing anything at all, so I think yeah. I think it's good. If somebody wants to compete naturally, I don't think we have a problem with that. No, not the at all. The same way, but we don't, you know, if they're going to, you know, you know, we don't put them down for being natural. I don't want to be put down for not being natural. But they do. <laughs> but they do. But they do. But they exactly. do, yeah. To me, I'd rather just stay natural in the long run. You know, if you live to be 50, so I won't have to worry about having problems due to steroids. Anabolic steroids, human growth hormones, insulin. 
Whether organic or synthetic, steroids are based on increasing the levels of the male hormone testosterone to expand muscle density and strip down body fat beyond what normal levels of testosterone will do. If you take small amounts and you're, you're medically supervised, I think that you basically can get stronger and healthier. I mean, steroids are, were developed to help people after surgery gain muscle mass back. And then they figure, well, if a little, a little is good, then a lot more is a lot better. Not, not true. That's when it gets dangerous, is when you take high amounts for long periods of time. We are not drug-free, but neither is any sport. If anyone thinks that there's no drugs in all sports, they're living in a vacuum. Everybody's doing it. That's makes a play, that it makes is, playing yeah. field level. Yeah, ab absolutely. It is a level, play, level playing field. And how are you going to guarantee that nobody does it? You know, we do drug tests. We drug test for substances that we can detect. You know, and you can't detect everything. There's so many things you cannot detect that they don't even have tests for. Any steroid or diuretic is not acceptable. And if for some reason that comes up, when the urinalysis is done, the finalist does get boosted out of their position. Thank you. Everybody is using it. It's unfortunate, Lily, and I'm the most unhappiest person. I wanted people to live a good, healthy life. You know, I don't know why guys are willing to take that type of risk. I mean, whenever there's money involved, people do crazy things. And when you're talking about the Olympia, that's a lot of money uh, riding, and there's a lot of contracts riding, uh, and, and a lot of people take this sport to heart, you know, and, and they're very serious about this. It's their business. And so this is where the sport has gotten as far as drugs, at the expense of just getting more and more size, more and more hardness. It's the same reason why I'm coming into this sport and staying natural. I've seen 200 bodybuilders come in today, and every single one that went on stage was drug tested. Thank you. There are natural bodybuilders. They are tested. There are organizations now just for natural competitors. So I have full faith that these competitors are natural. Let's pose, guys. All right, all right, all right. Now, we're only teenagers, okay? We're teenagers. I'm 19. 19. We're, we're both 19. Now, by the time we hit 25, We'll be looking like these other big guys. We're better. Let's do chess. Let's do We're chess. ahead of time, okay? Like Muscle Mania is open to men and women, amateurs and pros. The class divisions start with teenage boys and go all the way up through the master's division for men over 40. There are over 200 competitors. Everybody here is really good. Everyone helps each other. That's what's great about it. We're all friends. I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but you know, at the same time, you got to be confident as well. So, I mean, I'm going to go out there expecting a win. This weekend, Stan and Travis are competing in their respective classes, professional and amateur junior division. As a pro. Stan has the possibility of walking away with $10,000 in cash and prizes, while Travis, as an amateur, has the glory of the title, which gets him one step closer to turning professional. Spear. You've got 40 guys in the show, and what they do is they line us up on the side of the stage, and there might be a thousand people sitting in the audience looking at us in our underwear, basically. So you're standing there naked, in a line with 40 guys, and your worst fear is if they never call you out, because there's nothing worse than seeing some guy cry backstage, and I'm talking literally crying because he worked 16 weeks and never even got a call out. And I've seen it happen at the last shows I was in, and it's just never going to happen to me, I can guarantee you that. At Muscle Mania, 200 competitors are narrowed down to the top five in all 14 divisions. The natural bodybuilders go through four rounds of competition, initial class lineup, compulsory poses, symmetry, and finally, the pose down. 
Last week, everyone and their grandma was trying to give me advice. Oh, Travis, do this, don't do that, don't do this. Travis Wojcik poses down with the amateur junior heavyweight division, young men ages 19 to 22. I've won plenty of times in my life. I know what it's like. This is the first sport that I've got into that's a, a subjective sport. Every competition I come into, I know I can progress more. Because of my age, my muscles are just going to get more and more mature. My skin's get thinner and thinner and thinner. And so I'm looking forward to the future. Travis easily takes the first place win in the junior heavyweight division. The finalists for professional are number two, Mike D'Angelo. The professionals at Muscle Mania are part of an elite class of natural bodybuilders and are invited to compete. Number seven, Stan McQuay. the hardest and most grueling thing when you're on stage. People don't realize how hard it is. I mean, to me, it is the hardest thing of all. I mean, coming in here and lifting the weights is easy. Doing the dieting is fairly hard, but when it comes time to uh, get on stage and flex and blow all the air out for a good 15 minutes, oh, that's a workout. Oh, well, I'm burned out. I'm tired. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry for a win. After narrowing down the top five to the final two, the possibility of Stan McQuay winning is 50-50. My goal is to make top five, I took second, so yeah, it was, it's a big, to me it's a win. So I'm excited. It's worth all the hard work, and now I get to go eat. Stan is greeted by his biggest fan club, his mom, dad, and girlfriend, Carolina. Most bodybuilders, the first day after their first contest, they pig out and they eat everything in sight. And I did it. I ordered a 20-ounce porterhouse steak. Here you go. 20-ounce porterhouse. I'm ready. You're lucky, man. We don't eat like this all the time. But every once in a while. It's when the competition is over, the crowds have all gone home and the diet has been broken. It is just a matter of days before the bodybuilder heads back into the gym to begin the cycle all over again. I really don't know as far as uh, what direction I'm going. You know, I'm still new to the sport. I'm here to make some money just like everyone else. I get to travel around the world and help promote the sport of natural bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is opening people's eyes to what's possible for the body. It sets you up for a training experience the rest of your life. It is a world accepted, a world recognized sport activity. Bodybuilding has completely changed American culture. More gyms are open, more people are training, men, women. My dream was to come to California and be a world champion bodybuilder. That's what I wanted more than anything. That's what I'm sitting right now. Bodybuilding is about the process and the technique to take your body and mold it into perfection. Regardless of whether you consider bodybuilding a sport, a lifestyle, or an art form, the bottom line is that to be a bodybuilder, you must have discipline, focus, and an utter belief in yourself.